Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Mackie TV, and in this video, we will be discussing ways to save battery with iOS 26. A lot of people have been complaining that the battery drainage is crazy, and I will be showing you basically the settings that are just playing around in the background and just draining your battery without you even knowing. Without further ado, let's just get into it. I don't have time for the nitty gritty. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here, and please. While you're still here, before you even carry on with the video, just like the video. Like it. Did you like it? You're gonna like it. You like it? Okay, cool. Let's get into it. We're gonna get into haptics. Haptics are those little vibrations that you get when you are doing things, like for example, typing. All of these things are used with a haptic engine, and it's like this little vibration thing that happens within the phone. So each time you you get a call or you're typing, and all these haptics are being used every time. It does drain the battery. It drains it just a little, but I don't think we actually need it. A lot of people don't like the vibration. Some people do, but in order to save just that little bit of battery, go to phone set, just search phone and then scroll and then you'll find haptics. It, it normally happens on the phone when you answer a call and when you drop the call and answer the call, you just get these little haptic vibrations and it's not needed. So for that reason, just turn it off and save that little bit of battery. It's not a huge change, but we're trying to do as much as we can to minimize the battery. Well, the battery usage. There's actually something people don't know. You know when you lock your phone and you swipe and it shows the camera, sometimes people invoke this feature by mistake. Every time you unlock, uh, you swipe by, by, by mistake and it shows your camera, that actually takes a bit of battery all the time. So a lot of people don't even like this feature per se, because if you have a, a, seven, a, a 16 or above, you can just press this as your camera thing. Uh, so a lot of people with this specific device or model, they don't need this one or they could just press it. So you don't need all these versions to just do the same thing. So this actually will save battery because every time you open up the camera um, app like this, it does consume battery. So we have to turn that off. And the funny thing is we couldn't do this before. Uh, this is a new feature on iOS 26. So what you want to do is you want to go to camera. You go to camera and you scroll. Scroll, scroll. Lock screen swipe to open camera. So just turn that off. Because we're trying to save as much battery as you can. So now when I swipe, nothing will happen. If I want to use the camera, I'll just press the camera. And I'll, and I'll get it or if you have a 16 or above you can just press the sides and that's it we're trying to save as much battery so let's carry on now we are taking it back to the lock screen if you want to change your lock screen for example and you have ios 26 or 26.1 you will notice that you get this new option right here it's basically spatial scene and it gives you this 3d effect right and a lot of us like it a lot of us don't like it but the whole point is for those who don't want to use it this actually takes a lot of battery and people won't notice because they think oh the the spatial is so cool um it, this this is so cool let's just leave it uh, no let's i'm turning that off even though it shows you off and by the way this is literally that's it this is how you turn it off and if you had it off all along then good for you you have to skip this step, but if you have this thing on trying to brag, oh, look at this, this is so cool. No, uh, battery is dying because of this. Turn that off. What people don't normally realize is when you update your phone to iOS 26 or a new big version of iOS, for example, iOS 26, 27, 28, they, all these other companies, they always update their software to go along with the new software update. So for example, Instagram will update to the new version of iOS uh, 26 as well so that all the differences match is what I'm trying to say. So if you are um, noticing that your Instagram freezes or your Instagram is lagging or it does all these things, try and update your Instagram ASAP because, because you, you jumped from iOS 18 to 26, there might be some differences there so if you upgrade it it's it most likely most likely is going to be better but maybe if you have an iphone 6 and you're trying to run ios 20 
six, that might be the problem. You might just need to upgrade, but try to upgrade, try to update your software, that might be the problem. This one is one of the most obvious tips, and it is checking your battery usage, which apps use the most battery. Battery, and you check here, which apps use the most battery. 61% on TikTok. This is the problem for me. 15% on WhatsApp, CapCut, but this is how you determine what apps actually use so much battery. Here's a pro tip. If you don't use your phone much, your battery won't, your battery will last. Just maybe take a break. I know I'm the last person to be saying this because who am I? Because I'm 61% is taken from TikTok. But let's just take some time off our phones. Just a little bit. The next thing is Apple intelligence. A lot of people don't use Apple intelligence and we are told to turn it on as soon as we get to iOS 26. As soon as you, are, you, you get a new phone and you are signing up, Apple intelligence is there like, oh, turn it on. Um, Let's be honest, wh why are we even using it? We need to turn Apple intelligence off. As you can see, it's not even turned on on my side because I turned it off within the settings when I tried to get it on. So if you have, you will see an option here that says turn on Apple. You'll see a, a, like a switch like this on here. Just turn it off. You don't need this running in the background and always just sitting there, especially if you don't use Siri. If you don't use Siri, especially Apple intelligence in Siri, you won't need this. Turn this off in the settings. Just go to the settings and find Apple intelligence. Siri, turn that off. It's using battery in the background, it's useless. Another thing that might not seem significant is your widgets. Depending on what widgets you're using, when, when I'm talking about like calendar, that's fine. Weather, that's fine. All of this is fine. If you're using apps like stocks, for example, and you're checking the stock market and it's, I deleted the stock app, so it won't show here, but a lot of people still have it by default and it will show uh, widgets of the stocks. Take it off. It's always updating because of the stock market. In the background, that's always using your, your battery. Take Turn it off. Even delete the stock app on its own. Delete it. Gone. This one will sound very dumb, but low power mode is not even showing you. But if you... Oh, it is. It's right there. Low power mode is one of the most useful things ever. Yes, it does slow down your phone. Um, when you put on low power mode, but when your phone is there at around 30% turn on low power mode Try to save as much battery as possible And this is especially when you're out you at a festival you're out and you won't have a charger for a while Utilize low power mode. It will slow down your phone quite a bit, but in the long run it will save you some battery Which is kind of obvious, but it's some people don't, are, are not sure it's called adaptive power it watches how you use your phone during the day it saves battery in the moments where you don't need full power this is how you turn it on basically uh, you go to settings battery and then scroll down to power mode and then you turn on adaptive power and then i also suggest that you, you turn on adaptive power notifications as well because that's how i had to, i turned this off yeah, because I had to de demonstrate how to turn it on for the video. But this will save you your battery in the long run. It won't just magically start up and be just save your battery out, right? It has to learn your routine and then throughout time, it will know when to minimize the battery. Cool? Cool. And the last but not least tip that I have for you, it, is, it, it correlates with the Apple intelligence, but um, it's basically turning off Siri because Siri always listening is quite a problem, not because of privacy, but because of, well, privacy and battery. How to turn off Siri, you have to go to accessibility right there. Uh, scroll down until you see Siri. There it is. And then you scroll and sit, listen. Always listen for Siri. Turn that off. I don't want that on. So Siri always listening. I turn that off. 
save yourself some battery so it, i don't know by default but if it's on by default turn always listen for siri the only reason i'm saying turn this off is because while while your phone is in your pocket while your phone is face down on the floor while your phone is not basically doing anything it's always listening for siri so that takes battery in the background as you are just living your daily life and you're like why is my battery dying just a little bit piece by piece and i haven't even used it today it's all these things just running in the background doing its own nonsense so that is one of the things you have to be careful for that is all for today thank you for watching this video i truly appreciate it you guys are the reason why i keep pushing out new videos it's uh, it's, it's an inspiration thing please remember when i said please like this video did you like it did you okay well it's fine I, I know you liked it i know you got me but if you have not commented please give me a a computer emoji to to show that you've made it to the end of the video but without further ado please hit me up with actually comments with what videos you would love to see next but other than that it's all love